the time to really explore the art, as it were, is is to do it when you have a day job because you have nothing to risk. You know, you can literally try everything. You can put it out there, do, you know. And the other thing about making a career out of scientific illustration is you've got to make money, you know, because if that's that's the main income, you just can't sort of, you know, spend too long working on stuff. I, I, every single piece of work, I always think I can possibly do a little bit more, but, you know, the publisher's calling, causing for the work or somebody else wants it all done and, you know, and, and you think, oh, this is taking a lot of time. You know, there was, I, I was just watching this, this one piece where, um, program where this where this woman said that you know her art is just absolutely accurate, but she spent like four hundred hours on on this one piece, and it's like you know if you want to earn some money out of that, nobody's going to pay that sort of money for for that one piece of artwork. And I think that that's the thing is 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 the skill is is doing enough that it gets all that information in there, but everybody's happy. The publisher's got it on time you're making enough money to keep the wolf in the door um, and and it looks good enough. And I think I think that's the thing is that if, you know, that's the skill to do that, um, especially scientific illustration, because it's got to be accurate. You, you know, it's, it's got to have that, that detail. You've got to do that sort of research to get it right. You know, if, if, if you're Quentin Blake or something like that and you could just – do the cartoons and you, and you are an illustrator it just makes it a lot easier because you can rattle these off a lot easier than sort of doing a, a picture of a shark with all the details that there has to be in there and make sure it's all correct 